Technology is so important to every business. You've got to make sure it's set up right, you've got to make sure it's secure. But do you hire your own full-time IT people or do you outsource your IT needs to an MSP? We'll find out in today's video. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. We help businesses with the IT support and the cyber security. From the outset, I feel I need to be honest with you. I actually own and run an outsourced IT provider, otherwise known as an MSP. MSP stands for Managed Service Provider. You might be thinking that this video is gonna be slightly biased towards outsourcing your IT, and it is gonna be slightly biased, but only because I believe that outsourcing your IT to a specialist provider like ours is the best way that you can set up and manage your technology. So without further ado, grab yourself a cup of tea, sit down, and let's look at why outsourcing your IT is gonna be a lot better than employing full-time IT staff. The first reason is knowledge. Now when people think about IT, they've immediately got this impression of a single IT guy who knows everything there is to know about IT. But in today's world, that just isn't how it works. Let's compare it to the medical world. Yes, you've got your GPs who've got this general knowledge, but then you've got people with specializations. You might have a heart specialist or a brain specialist, and we need all these different specialists to keep us nice and well. That's also how it works in the IT world. There's lots of different roles that make up the IT function. An entry-level role might be doing basic IT changes, perhaps resetting passwords, creating email addresses. There might be a more advanced role for fixing more advanced IT problems. And then there's the people who are proactive. They'll maintain your network, they'll install all the updates, and they'll keep things ticking along. And what about projects? You know, your business might implement a new server or a new telephone system. So you need specialist project engineers. And then, of course, we know cybersecurity is such a big thing. So you need people who are skilled in protecting your business. And then you need people to manage all those people who I've just talked about. And then you need someone who can sit at board level and they can talk to business leaders about strategy and the role of technology in moving that business forward. So you've got all these different roles, and by a role, I don't mean a person. So you might have multiple people in one of those roles. You might have four project engineers. But in every business, whether you've got five members of staff or 5,000 members of staff, you need all these roles in your IT function. So you're never gonna have all that knowledge by hiring just a few people. If your business went down the route of hiring three IT people, then you're gonna have knowledge gaps. Those three people might be good at fixing IT problems, but your business might not be secure. Or on the other side of that, those three people might be good at strategy and security, but then people in your business might be frustrated because the minor issues just aren't getting fixed. By using an outsourced MSP of a decent size, your business will have access to people who fulfill all those roles for your business. Don't make the mistake of hiring an IT manager and thinking that you've got everything covered because you just won't have it covered. The second reason is scalability. So your business grows and you need to go out and hire lots more staff. Do you go out and hire more IT people to support the staff that you've just hired? And conversely, what happens if your business shrinks? You need to let people go. What do you do with your IT people? Do you let the people go there, or do you keep overstaffed? By outsourcing your IT to a good MSP, your business can grow and it can shrink, and your IT function can grow and shrink with you. That's scalability, and it makes perfect sense when it comes to technology. The third reason why you should outsource your IT is cost. I talked earlier in this video about all the functions that your business needs in technology. If your business went out and employed a single person to cover all those functions, you'd be looking at salaries of in excess of about £350,000 a year. Then you've got your government contributions, you've got your holiday pay, you've got your sick pay, you've got your pensions. What about company cars? And then all that team that you hire will need technology to be able to support your business, specialist software to maintain and secure your network. All that comes at a huge cost to your business. 
clearly when it comes to cost comparison, there's gonna be that tipping point where it costs more to outsource than it does to employ your own IT function. But with the numbers we've just talked about, your business is gonna be pretty big before it can justify spending that amount of money on its own internal IT function. If you're sitting there watching this video and your business has got 50, 100, 200, or even 500 employees, it's still gonna be more cost effective to outsource your IT to an MSP. The fourth reason why you should outsource your IT to an MSP is real world experience. An MSP will work with hundreds of different customers, all of different sizes and in different sectors. They'll build up their experience, they'll keep the skills really sharp, they'll know what's going on in the industry. This is especially true when it comes to cyber security. There are new threats daily and it's important that someone is keeping abreast of all the changes. Conversely, I've spoken to people who work in internal IT departments. They're doing the same tasks day in, day out. This is how we've always done it here. This is going back a few years, but I remember talking to an IT manager and I was explaining the benefits of Office 365. And his reply was, what's Office 365? People who are working in internal IT departments often don't see the light of day. They don't know what's going on in the industry. That is another good reason why you should be looking to outsource your IT function. So there are four good reasons why you should consider outsourcing your IT to an MSP. But maybe it's not just as cut and dry as that. Maybe it's not just as simple as saying, let's outsource. Maybe you want someone who works for your company representing the IT function. Maybe you like them on the payroll. They're just working for your company after all. You see technology is a really important function, so you want someone in-house who is doing that. But just maybe you could have the best of both worlds. I spoke in this video about all the technology functions that your business needs. But there is another way. Maybe you could have like a, a hybrid approach where you employ some people and you outsource some of the other functions. So how would this work in the real world? Well, firstly, this is known as co-managed IT. Let's have a look at an example. So you might employ two technicians. They're really good at fixing the day-to-day -day problems. When someone needs them, they're there really quickly and it really works for the business. But because they're busy fixing problems all day, the cybersecurity just isn't happening. So maybe you could outsource the cybersecurity function. And because these two technicians are busy, the strategic things, the sitting down with the business leaders isn't happening. So technology is just ticking along, it's getting older, and all the modern things just aren't getting implemented. So maybe you could outsource that strategic vision, maybe you hire a VCIO, a virtual chief information officer, to provide direction. Already you've filled some of these roles in your IT function by using a co-managed approach. Or as another example, you might flip that. You might hire someone at board level who knows all about technology. Now clearly they're not gonna be going to people's desks every day, plugging in cables. So you might outsource the help desk and the proactive services. So again, you've really filled that technology function. So there you have it. There are four reasons why you should consider outsourcing at least some of your IT to an experienced MSP. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.